Hi, this video is to show you how to set up your SQL sync light settings. So firstly, we'll have to click into the three dots button here, select settings, and from this page, you are able to see your company profile settings. In the future, if you have added new sales channels into your site Giant Light, you can actually come here to select the newly added sales channel. Okay, once you have selected it, it means that those orders from the new channels are able to be synced into your SQL accounting. The next one is SQL accounting settings. This is where you have set up earlier when you create a new profile. So if you have changed a new server or a new database, you will need to make changes into this part of the settings here. In order to do so, you can refer back to a video called SQL SyncLight Create New Profile. All the steps are given there. Next one will be general settings. This is the part where we need to do the settings. Firstly, it is the customer code here. Customer code here refers to default customer code. Just in case the customer matching process is not done successfully or left empty, the orders from marketplaces will be synced under this default customer code. If you are sure that your customer matching is done properly now and the future as well, you can actually leave this column blank. But if not, then you will need to create a default customer code into your SQL accounting. Go into your SQL accounting, click on customer, maintain customer. From here, you will need to create a new customer code and you can put any name you like. And I'll click save. From here, I copy the default customer code, go back into my site giant light, put it in. So the next one will be agent. If you put in agent, it means that all the orders from your site giant light will fall into this agent. If you are not using this, then you can put four dashes or four hyphens into it. The next one will be the term. Normally, the term will be COD, else you can put in the correct term in as well. Next in line is product code. The product code here refers to the default product code. If the product matching process is done properly, this default code is for precaution only. And if there are products that will not match properly, then this default product code will be used to sync over to SQL accounting. How to create the default product code in SQL accounting? You'll have to go into SQL accounting, go into stocks, maintain stock item, from here, you can create a default product code. So I'll go into click new code. I'll put default and here maybe I put default product site giant light. Save it. Okay, I'll copy the product code here and remember the UOM. So I'll go back into my site giant light. From here, I'll put in the product code which is default and the UOM which is unit. So once done, we can go into the next settings, which is the auto-generate invoice number. For invoice number, we have three selections. The first one will be to follow SQL accounting invoice number, or the second one will be using the invoice number directly from Sync app here, or you can actually select Unicard. This one is for you to follow the invoice number generated from Site Giant Light itself. So let me show you the Sync app one. The settings is down below. For invoice prefix, you can put in INV2021, put a dash or a slash up to you. As for the digit number, you can put in how many numbers you would like to have in the invoice. If I put 5, then the sample will be showing up here. The next invoice number, you can shift it to 1, 2, 3, up to your selection. So this is how you set up the invoice number using the Sync app. The next one will be the preset. The same, you have to create one item code in your SQL accounting for coupons. Then go into your SQL accounting. I click on new. For code, I'll put coupon. Copy the coupon code, save, and put it into my site giant light. UOM unit. Everything done, click on save. So this is how you set up the settings for your SQL sync light. If you have questions regarding customer matching or product matching, you can actually refer to the other videos about product matching and customer matching as well. Thank you.